out of the abundance of your heart. I'm not being smart. You know, this is the, my great, brilliant brain. If anybody, if I can change, anybody can change. But I found when I got into the Word of God, it changed my life. In 1974, Cyclone Tracy wiped out our city. 11,000 houses, including my house. Yes. Wiped it out totally. You know, uh, my, my neighbours were killed. Uh, we ran across to our neighbour's house because our house was being destroyed. Threw my kids under the table. The roof came in on top of us. We we're, were trapped for five or six hours. I made my peace with God because I'm sure I'm going to die. My wife, she's sure we're coming out. She had more faith than me. I'm, I'm sure we're going to die. And so Christmas Day, 1974, never, never forget, nothing's left. There's no houses, no trees. My neighbours are dead. Your head's going, this is not happening. This is a bad dream. Nothing's left. There's, there's semi-trailers upside down. There's cars embedded three stories in the side of hotels. You know, and, and, you, and you, praise God for your kids. Your kids will keep you sane. Christmas Day, they said, they said forget the house. What do we get for Christmas? Where's our Christmas presents? <laughs> I love Oh, I'm running around the flute. Oh, that spirit of slap came on me again. <laughs> but you know, God, I, I, I tell you, God does have a sense of humour. If you don't believe me, look at the person sitting next to you. <laughs> but he does. Now, I'll never forget, I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock. I, I don't even know if my shop's okay, what's going to happen with my house. You know, it's ruined. So I just got a chair. We had an elevated house like that house down there, just the dance floor with the wall. Nothing else, so everything's gone. And I'm sitting there and I'm staring into outer space. I'm just sitting there looking, you know. And I'll never forget. This teenage guy comes walking along and he's stepping over all the wreckage and he's whistling. He looks up and says, Morning, Cole. Having breakfast on the patio today? <laughs> I said, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I said, Happy Acres must have blown down. What sort of idiot? And I started laughing. I couldn't help it. I started laughing. And he's standing laughing. I'm laughing. Hello. You know, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. But I, I tell you, Something happened to me that changed my life. You know, we're looking out over the... Uh, if you've been to Darwin, you know about tropical storms. I mean, when the storms come across the harbour, we used to look across Francis Bay. I mean, when those storms roll in, they're so thick that you could reach out and touch it. The lightning's hitting the ground, shaking the whole... Thing. And I, I, I'm looking, all these birds are bolting for cover, the egrets and the pelicans, and they're flying low to the ground as fast as they can go to get away from this. You know, and I just happened to look up, and here's this magnificent seagull. I love eagles. I'm looking for some wedgies out here. Awesome birds. God likens us to eagles, not crows. And I look up and here's this magnificent seagull and he's locking his wings and he's flying straight into the storm front and he hit it and we just, and it just catapulted him up and he's having the time of his life and you can hear him. Everybody's bolting for cover. He's having the time of his life. And I just look up and the Spirit of God says, that's how you need to live your life. You can run terrified like everybody else or you can live like that. Allow the very grace of God the goodness of God. Is that right or not? Yes. The very word of God to carry you over the storms. It changed my life. Even sometimes now I'm going through a bit of a hard time, I go back and I meditate that. God's not given us a spirit of fear. One of power and of love and of a sound mind. The righteous are as bold as a lion. Look, I'm looking at blokes, world changes, dads, granddads, sons, future husbands. You know, the whole future of our nation really is in our hands. It really is. And I really believe if ever there was a time we needed some David's mighty minutes now. Blokes that will stand up, speak up, refuse to shut up. I, 